Well, everyone, I have to keep it completely honest with you. I made a video the other day talking about some of the features that iOS 16 has that Android pretty much still doesn't have. Now we have to do the exact opposite. We have Now we have to talk about some things that iOS 16 just got or just brought in that Androids have had for years. Now one of the first things I want to talk about is actually with a keyboard specific feature. So one of the best things that a lot of people have been talking about with iOS 16 is haptic feedback within the keyboard. So if you start typing, you can actually go ahead and have it and set it up to where the vibration motor actually kind of shows that you know, you're typing on the keyboard. It kind of feels like you're typing. Well, Androids have had this for a very long amount of time. And you can configure this within your settings. So this is not to say, so this is not to say that, oh, Android is so much better because they've had this feature. There are still a lot of iOS 16 features Androids don't have, but this is the one thing that, I mean, I've, I, this comes on by default. I didn't even set this up and I can definitely feel that it's vibrating. So this is from stock Android. So that's another really cool thing that I kind of actually prefer. Now, another thing I actually want to hit on, hit on is actually with iPad OS 16. This is a very quick thing. Essentially with a lot of iPads, we have the ability of doing something called Stage Manager. We can connect you know, our iPad to a different display and we can actually go ahead and pretty much use that iPad and have a separate display for it and it's really cool. Androids have had this type of thing for a long period of time. Samsung is one of the bigger manufacturers who does this with Samsung Dex and that is something that we've had on a lot of Android phones that we don't really have on any iPhones. We have it on iPads so iPad OS 16 feature I wanted to kind of throw in there. Another thing is within Siri. So Siri got a really big update where we have the ability of hanging up calls with, you know, Siri. So we can say, hey, Siri, hang up calls. Well, Google Assistant has had this type of capability for a very long period of time, too. So you can click right here. And you can tell, hey, Google, can you, uh, I don't even know how to even restart this. And if there was a call, I'm sure it would go ahead and hang up. I'm sure it's because right now there's no call. But essentially, Android phones have had this for a very long time, too. So that was something that actually stood out to me as well. Now on top of that, the mail application within iOS 16 got another cool feature where it actually allows us, and I'm really happy about this, it allows us to schedule emails. Now this is really cool. However, with Gmail and a lot of other mail applications within Androids, we've already had this capability to schedule emails as well. So I understand you can download Gmail on you know, your, you know, your iPhone, but this is one of the pitfalls of Apple. For a lot of their applications, you have to wait until they push out a software update to actually get updates there. With the, you know, these apps, for example, you don't have to. You can just update them through the Play Store and it makes them so much easier to kind of install. So that's another thing that kind of stood out to me as well. Now on top of that, there was this other little feature that some people actually kind of found, which within iOS 16, if you install an IPA file of some sort. Now, I don't know if I have any IPA files, but sometimes there may be some things that come up where it actually says, you know, developer mode, or you need to have, you know, developer mode installed or something like that. So essentially what some people are suggesting within iOS 16 is that you may actually be able to install IPA files somehow if you enable, you know, IPA mode. Now, I don't know how this is going to look like. I'm surprised that even opened, to be honest. So I'm not 100% too sure what's going to be happening here, but essentially Android has had this feature since the birth almost, it feels like. You have the ability of sideloading a bunch of applications with Android. Whatever application you want, if there's an APK file for it, you should be able to install it. And this also includes emulators and so many other things down that road as well. So I, again, this isn't new with iOS or Android, but the developer mode option that some people have been getting notified within iOS 16, this is brand new within iOS 16, we've had an option like developer mode within our Android system. So you can see right here, that wherever my developer mode options are, if you go to about phone, if you click on build number 10 times or whatever, it'll go ahead and allow you to become a developer. You click here, you click system, and you should see these developer options. We've had these options for a long period of time within Android. So that's another quick little thing that you know popped up as well. Now, those are the first couple of things that I could see right out the gate. If you find anything or if you find anything about iOS 16 that Android hasn't had or has had, let's, you know, let's see what you have to say in the comment section below. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.